If you want to know how you can make a light cycle in Roblox Studio where the lights turn on when it's night and the lights turn off when it's day, you're gonna have to make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel and in this tutorial we will be making a light cycle and what I mean with that for example you have a day and night cycle the sun goes up the moon goes up whatever you want and it is after 8 p.m. and all of the lights in your game are going to turn on and when it is 8 a.m. again all of the lights will turn off that is just an example of what we're going to be doing in this tutorial it is really simple, but uh, it is really requested in my Discord server, in my suggestion channels. If you do have a suggestion, join my Discord server, go to bot commands, slash suggest, and you are ready to go. Before we start this video, make sure to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on that notification bell, and become a member if you want to. I really apologize for the three weeks of inactivity, but that's because I have been working on something so amazing, and it is releasing very soon. It's another tutorial series. Keep an eye out on my Discord server and my YouTube channel for further information. So without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. So before we can actually make it, we need a folder in workspace and we need to call it uh, a folder and we need to name it lights because we need some sort of light, you know, and you want to create a part and you want to put the part in the light. And this is just a light part, which is going to be neon whenever it glows. So let me just make it a little bit of a square, you know, like a little house, even though it's not a house. I'm going to make this one red or per persimmon, whatever it is. And you just want to duplicate it and just give it colors because these are light parts. For example, in jailbreak, uh, you have a lot of different parts with different colors. So uh, another house is orange. The other one is yellow. The other one is purple, whatever you want. And you just want to customize this. So let me just do that real quick. I'm going to do like six, seven parts. Doesn't really, doesn't really matter as long as it's just a part. So let's do this one on uh, white. Why not white? Uh, institutional. Yep. There we go. So now we have these light parts. And uh, I know they're just really basic. Uh, but you want to keep an eye out on the material type. And this one is plastic. So uh, a normal part starts off with plastic. You need some kind of day and night cycle. And to make a day and night cycle, that is going to be very easy. And we will include that in this tutorial. So now that you have your lights set up, you need to create a server script. Uh, well, yeah, you need to create a script in server script service. And I'm going to call this the server because I name all of my server scripts. I name them server because that's just how I am. So we need to define the lighting service. So local lighting is equals to game colon get service lighting. And let me just zoom in real quick. There we go. So we need a function called lights. And we type in a bool value into that to make it true or false. So if bool value is equal to true. So if we want the lights to turn on, then we will set it to true. So then for underscore, comma, v in pairs, workspace, dot lights, colon, get children do. So we are going to v is now everything inside of that folder this one so this is actually v v v v v and all we can do is v dot material is equals to enum dot material dot neon because we're going to turn them on so that's going to be neon but now else if the bool value is equals to, equals to false if we want the lights to turn off then we will do the exact same thing for underscore comma v in pairs workspace dot lights colon get children do but now we need to turn them back so v dot material is equals to enum dot material dot plastic because if you go to one of the blocks right now you will see that the material is plastic and what material variant is with uh, I don't know um so now we need a get property change signal we need to use that so this will determine whenever the clock time in game has been changed and then we will fire that event and check if it is nighttime or daytime so colon get get property changed signal of the clock time make sure to capitalize the c and the t make sure to capitalize we need to connect that function 
and we need to add in a function and now we need to check the clock time so if lightning dot clock time is above 18 over like 18 like 6 p.m. I believe six and a half p.m. or lightning dot clock time is uh, between uh, 7 so this is night time from 6 p.m. 6 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. that is night time so since that is night time we need to do the function of lights and we want to turn them on so we're gonna type true because over here we're checking if it's true and over here it's also true but else if lightning dot clock time is between 7 a.m. and 18 and a half p.m. 18.5 p.m. or whatever it is 6 p.m. Um, I use a 24 hour clock so I'm doing my best uh, so if it's between uh, uh, 7 a.m. and 6 p.m. it's gonna be daytime or lightning dot clock time is between 18.5 then so this uh, so let's just do this this is nighttime and this is daytime and when it's daytime we need to turn them off and when it's nighttime we need to turn them on but so as you can see day okay day is false so lights false and that is it but not yet because we need a day night cycle really quickly and you just want to type wall true do and uh, you just need to do something just local minutes 60 zero and then wall to do and all you need to do is uh, minutes plus equals one and then lightning colon set minutes after midnight and then minutes and you do task dot wait one divided by 50 which is like a really small number but in that way uh, the day and night cycle is going to be really quickly and if you want you can also set it to like one one second per one second it's going to like do something uh but this is kind of it it is really simple so let's click play and don't mind my avatar i just changed it because i thought it was funny as you can see it is nighttime apparently for some reason but as you see the lights did turn on and this one looks glitched but that is because uh the color as you can see it's gonna be daytime and now it is daytime and all the lights are turned off oh wait there's actually the brown one oh. so if you just wait for a little bit As you can see, it's going to be nighttime in like about now. And as you can see, the lights turn on again. So as you can see, this is a really simple video on how to make a day and night cycle, including a light cycle. And as you can see, it is only like 28 lines. It is really simple. Uh, and overall, I wish you good luck with your game. And I hope this video really helped you out. And if it did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, that's basically what I wanted to say. If you like the video, like it. If you don't like it, dislike it. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on that notification bell and uh, become a member if you want. Do anything you want to support me. I really appreciate it. All I can say is that my name is Newbie and I say peace out.